Hello everyone, I'm about to play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis from 1999. Alright. Alright, here we go. Resident Evil. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance. And my last chance. My last escape. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still, still alive. alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone! I'm not leaving! 
Never! Just get away from me. Just get away from me. That sounded death metal. Death metal vocals. Like that. Oh, by the way, I'm a death metal fan. I'm a big metal fan. Especially death metal, black metal, and thrash metal. Gun shop Kendo. Kendo first appear in Resident Evil 2. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! That's the intro. Well, after you start the game in Resident Evil 2. Let's go, let's go! Someone doing something about this. I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after Stars members. There's no escape.
survivors found. This is Carlos. Send in support to it immediately. Carlos Oliveira.
Hey. Where... where am I? Relax. You're fine. If you say so, but my head feels like it's about to explode. Anyway, name's Carlos. Glad to meet you, lady. Jill. Alpha Team? RPD's STARS unit. Who do you represent? STARS? I see. Well, I'm a member of the Biohazard Countermeasure Force, sent by Umbrella Incorporated. Sent by Umbrella? Hey, don't look at me like that. What did I say? Do you have a problem? Oh no, it's him! Come on! Ow, that killed! Just so you know, I'm not into that pain is pleasure thing, okay? Just deal with it. That thing wants me dead. We've got to get out of here! Wait. I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. I have to know. Why did Umbrella send you here? Because we're on a civilian rescue mission. Oh, you're full of it. They're the ones who caused all this in the first place. Look, we're just mercenaries. Hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? Listen. If you want answers about Umbrella, you're asking the wrong guy. Believe it or not, we are here to rescue civilians. If you can trust me, join us. Think about it.
was not expecting that at all. One of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Oh, this looks bad. Oh, they're coming. Get ready. Ah, ah. Fire. Fire. Stay together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is going to be okay. So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. Can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on.
<laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Check over there. Give me a second, I'm gonna go get a bottle of water.
Make me do this, Murphy. I don't want to shoot you. Kill me. I finished. Not human. Wait, we... We don't have to do this. Please hurry. Before I lose conscious. Before too late. Kill me. Yeah! Murphy! Why? No. No. <laughs> Carlos!
Damn it, I, fr I dropped the controller. Oh, shit.
Stars. Carlos, I'm sorry about Murphy, but there was nothing you could have done. Yeah, you're right, Jill. I'll operate the cable car. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. Come on, let's go. It's looking good.
intention of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh, it's just a piece of paper. But we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. No, if we're gonna die then we should get to choose when it happens. Uh. That wasn't necessary. So that's it then, huh? You're giving up? No. I just... I can't handle it! tell you all something. I prefer this game more than the remake. Seriously. I like the remake, I'm not gonna lie. But I will always love this one instead of the remake. I 
was in high school when this game came out. Thank <laughs> you. 
October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. Three days later with the virus, you usually turn into a zombie within an hour. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? That don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Dead people don't feel pain.
one. God damn it. Also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However, What happened? What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait!
Wasn't gonna stay to fight them. Hell, fucking no. Let's get out of here. Ah, oh, shit. I'm such a dumbass. It's first floor. Oh, damn. Nikolai planted the, the, that bomb in there. Yeah, it was Nikolai who planted that bomb. Come on. <sighs> he wanted to kill me with that bomb. Okay. Yes. Barely. What's going on? No way! That monster just doesn't give up! What? I thought we killed that thing! No. It's been waiting for you! He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No. I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and... bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> 
All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subject. Another mutant! Ah! The warm... From earlier... What's going on?
I could have electrocuted with those light poles, but it was gonna take a while, so I don't wanna waste time right now. Whoa! Shit! Jill, listen very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks? Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left.
you're still wandering around. Nikolai? So, you want to get out of here alone? Is that your plan? I made certain none of the other supervisors survived. Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. They want you eliminated for reasons of their own. The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. That's great. Except I have no intention of contributing to your retirement. Warning. Proceeding with operation in the treatment room. Please evacuate immediately. Stars. Come <laughs> on. 
Transmission, respond immediately. I'm here. What's up? I got us a ride. The chopper engines are running and ready to go. On my way. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up! And don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. Make sure you bring it with you. Now listen to me. Don't give up. We're both gonna survive this. Just get over here! Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. System. Checking data. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system.
system overheating. Enter cooldown mode. The President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Bacalus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City.
guys, if you made it this far watching uh, me playing this game, I thank you very much for watching. I really enjoy playing this game. It's This game came out when I was in high school, and I really enjoyed it too much back in the day, and I still enjoy it to this date. One hour and 58 minutes. Wow. Well, I thank you very much, you guys, for if you made it this far. I will go ahead and continue uploading myself playing old school games. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.